it's Marie here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy today's tutorial. I'll be using the Honey Bee stamp set and the Detailed Bee dies. These bundle together and you can get 10% off when you use the combined um, bundle item number or you can buy the items separately. It's completely up to you. But if I were you, I'd go for the bundle um, because when they're first released in a catalogue, they only have that one-time special bundle price of 10% off and if it carries over to the annual catalogue then they become separate items so if you really love this bundle I suggest you uh, buy it as a bundle but it's completely up to you so um, if you are new to my channel welcome I hope you enjoy this is a paper crafting cha uh, channel where um, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I show you how to make cards or 3D projects uh, that are easy to follow in my opinion <laughs> um, and they're just fun and you can create cards for friends family for yourself it's fun it's therapeutic and I just hope you enjoy so we'll get started on this project so we're going to have whisper white cardstock one of my favorite card bases of all time is the thick whisper white card base um, it's four inches across by eight and I scored it at four so I'm just going to fold and burnish that score line Then I have some Whisper White cardstock. This is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Uh, and that's just the regular Whisper White. And then I've got some scrap Whisper White cardstock as well. So with regards to this um, sheet here, this little panel here, what I'm going to do is do some ink blending. This is something I feature a lot in my videos. And it's something I really enjoy because the possibilities are really endless when you do this. So what I want to do with this is blend three colours. I'm going to use some makeup brushes. I found these at Kmart. Um, they come in various sizes. This is my little tin here of different brushes there. Very cheap. You can find them on Amazon and also eBay. Um, incredibly cheap. Um, and they're very similar to the Picket Fence life-changing brushes. So if you don't want to pay the big bucks, I suggest get these um, makeup brushes. They're very cheap. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use Poppy Parade, Mango Melody and Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to blend the entire um, panel here with these three colours. So what I'll do is I will speed this up as I'm ink blending and um, you can have some music in the background. So we'll get started with the Daffodil Delight first. finished now um, ink blending and I think that adds such a beautiful colors together just beautiful and I love these uh, makeup brushes because they just you can go as um, soft or subtle uh, or as intense as you like and they're very very easy to blend so I'm just going to quickly clean this okay now we are done with this so what I'd like to do with that is I'm going to grab the dies and I'm going to cut out this honeycomb feature here this die I'm going to cut this out several times um, and to, for the whole of the card you know for that whole front so I'll be passing this through the big shop several times
Okay, so I've just finished uh, with the honeycomb bits and pieces. Now, what I would like to achieve with that is basically um, is use these hexagons, this honeycomb pattern, as a background. Um, so I'll just arrange it in a way I see fit. And it could be just like this, or I'll add some more. So I'll just cut that whole area there. And with regards to these teeny tiny little um, hexagons here, keep those. They make great patterns as well. You can make another card with that if you want to. So I'll leave these to the side for now. I'm going to grab um, my scrap pieces of cardstock here and I'm going to do some more stamping. So I'm going to grab, I'll just put this away for now. I'm going to grab the stamp set. I'm going to get this um, beehive here. We're going to ink that up and we're going to cut it out. So I'll just grab my stamparatus for that. And we'll take out the foam. Pop this in here. And we're going to ink up the beehive with um, Daffodil Delight. With regards to solid images and the like, I really like um, to use, sorry my table's a bit weird. <laughs> okay, I really like to use the Stamparatus because if the images do not come out well like that, you can go over it again. And I like the use of Daffodil Delight because it kind of looks like honey when it's dark. And I'll link it up again. <clears throat> I want this to be quite a, you know, intense looking coloured beehive. Oops. And I think that looks great. So that's the beehive. And that was in Daffodil Delight. Then I'm going to stamp the bee. And I'm going to grab the smallest bee in that one. So that's that one over here. It's a really cute size. Wondering if I could cut that out here too. I mean, cut it out here as well, which I will do that. Use the one scrap, why not? And for that one, I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Sorry, just bear with me for one moment. I don't know why my phone rang, but anyway, I've got now Memento Tuxedo Black and I'm just going to ink up that beautiful bee. And that turned out absolutely perfect and I love the detail of that stamp. It's amazing. Alright, and then I'm going to get out another small piece there and I'm going to ink up the two flowers, that one and that one. And for those, I'm going to use sponge daubers. So what I'll grab is a sponge dauber for my granny apple green and my highland heather so just bear with me whilst oh there's my highland heather so i've got that one here i've got a little case here where i keep all of my sponge daubers so that's highland heather right there and then i'm going to bring out my granny apple green which is let me see uh, they're not always easy to find. I have labelled them. There's my Granny Apple Green. Okay. So I'll grab my Granny Apple Green ink and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my sponge dauber and I'm going to just add the green. Sorry, that makes a lot of noise like that 
just make sure I get that there. I'll do the same for the other one. Okay, and I'll just use that to stamp on like that. It's a great way to add colour and you don't lose any of the detail. See that? How beautiful is that? Just gorgeous. So that's it with the Granny Apple Green and now I'm going to ink up with my Highland Heather ink. Just um, clean that off and I'll just grab my Highland Heather and I'll just ink up just the flowers. that there and very carefully there okay and I'll just press over there again okay so that's that done. So I'll just bring this up close for you to see it. Isn't that cool? I love it. All right. So I will now clean the stamps off. And we're going to put this baby together. Um, I will cut all of that stuff out as well. So put these away because knowing me, I will lose them and I have done it in the past. So we'll grab now my um, stamp platform here, not stamp platform, but put all of the images here to cut out. And we'll try and do it in one pass if we can, that would be great. So with these dies you don't have to guess for a, um, a border, you can just go right up to the top of it. I'll just add some painter's tape. my dies away I've done all of that and what I'm going to do with this B is I'm going to use a really small makeup brush and I'm going to get the daffodil delight dip it in there and I'll just give it a quick color like that so you can see that now just gives a nice subtle color and I'll just clean that brush. Okay, so that's all clean now. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll put together this card. So I'm just going to grab all of my honeycomb bits and pieces. And I'm just going to do a quick layout and just have a think about where I want things. So I might put that there. So I've just grabbed my tweezers and my glue. specific for any kind of occasion um, what I tend to do is I tend to leave 
My cards are a little blank in terms of sentiments. Sometimes I, I put on a sentiment and sometimes I just create cards just to have them on hand. So if I need something, there's always something there. So I kind of keep it kind of neutral, um, if that makes any sense. So, so for this, I'm going to go like, like that. Kind of abstracty, and then um, I'll get some scissors and I'll just trim that down. I'm kind of winging this as I go along. <laughs> um, now this one cut a little weird on that side, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim that down a little bit because um, it moved when I put it through the die cutting machine. So it's a bit of a bummer, but it's a small little thing, a little trim. I didn't have to go far with that. Now, I did cut other bits and pieces. I'm not sure if I'll use them as yet, but um, I have an idea if I want to. I have it there if I want to. So I'll just put this now over here. Like that, I think. The beehive is like this, and then I'll have the bee flying up over here. I think that's cute. So what I'll do is I will stick the edge of the flower onto the beehive. So it's going to put spots of glue just there, there and there. So just right on the edges like that. like that so it looks like that and then I'll do the same on that side so it's just there there and just right on the edge there like that just in three spots and I'll just pick up the beehive and I'll do it like that looks beautiful I love that whoops Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll grab some dimensionals and we'll stick that beehive up from the back. So I'll put one here, here, here. Just one more over there. I'll just press on the back there and that lifts up the backings, makes it easier to remove. Oops. I'll have that just down the bottom here. And then I'll have that bee, I think, flying through like that. I think that looks cute there. So with that bee, I'm going to put it up on a dimensional as well. So I'll just grab one. I think that's all that's needed. One big giant dimensional. And I'll just put that right there as if it's flying away from the beehive. Now this gives me room as well to put um, a sentiment up here, a little one. The stamp set comes with beautiful sentiments like hello, thank you, celebrate every moment, every moment, thinking of you and wishing you sunshine and happiness. So with regards to that over there, I'll just show you with the stamp. So you can put down here like a hello. See, so that will go. Um, also, you'll ha you can have the option of the thank you. I'll most likely use this as a thank you, so I can add this on um, at a later time. So thank you. 
um, and also we can put the celebrate every moment sentiment up there as well I think it's a cute little card that um, packs a lot of punch I quite like it so that's my uh, finished card um, on the inside I will leave that blank because it is such a small card it's only a four by four inch card but um, I can leave the inside blank or actually you know what I'll stamp the little B down there as well stamp that one down there like that so I'll grab my stamp writers. it's a little touches sometimes that make a card really cute too like the little B on the inside so I'll do that this way and I'll have the B down there and I'll stamp the B in memento Sure it's right on the corner there and I'll give it a quick stamp and that turned out perfect so that's all now complete we can't have the inside without a little stamp of some sort <laughs> but that's turned out really cute so I'll just put this away for now okay so I had the battery light flashing so I won't be very long so this is my finished card for today and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like it looking a little bit different with the honeycomb thank you all so much for watching if you'd like to purchase any of the products I featured today you may do so through my online store at pebblyrosepapercrafting.stampinup.net Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.